Today is July 27th, 2024, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. There is no news about Half-Life 3. Uh, so I want to pivot my talk about Deadpool to talk about something, you know, in that same vein, uh, just the MCU in general. Now, a lot of people have been feeling that the MCU is uh, kind of in shambles right now. It's kind of fallen downhill and definitely hit a rough patch post Endgame. It's, you know, just a couple exceptions. Uh, you know, like Guardians 3 and No Way Home and uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. And it's a, kind of telling that, you know, those exceptions rely on these quote-unquote legacy characters of the old Spider-Man and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and stuff like that. But now, like, we know that the folks over at Marvel know that things are falling apart, right? Like, I mean, one, you can't have a flop like the Marvels and not realize things are bad. Uh, but I'm specifically talking about uh, the Comic-Con panel for the MCU that happened today, which I didn't see, I just saw the news about it. Uh... They got Avengers 5 and 6 coming out. Uh, I guess they announced the directors, the Russo brothers, coming back, which makes sense. You know, you're, you run back to that well, and in doubt, it's like, it's like dragging out J.J. Abrams to do uh, Rise of Skywalker. You know, you go with the safe bet, whatever. Uh, of course, Avengers 6 is still going to be Secret Wars, because they're not going to have an ex they're not going to miss that huge multiversal event, you know, you're going to have Hugh Jackman in it, and Tobey Maguire, and Tom Hardy, and Nicolas Cage, Ghost Rider, and all, all these people, it's just going to be huge cameo fests, you know, all the Fox X-Men will be in there, but Avengers 5 was originally going to be King Dynasty, but then King got cancelled, and Despite Marvel being in a multiverse with variants, I guess they can't recast Kang. So they're doing what everybody thought they were going to do, which was switch from Kang being the villain of that movie to Doctor Doom being the movie that, that the villain of that movie. Uh, which is what they're doing. So you, Avengers Five is going to be Avengers Doomsday, uh, and they announced who's playing Doctor Doom, and it weeks of desperation. Uh, they're gonna get Robert Downey Jr. to play Dr. Doom. And I think they I think they specifically said that he, it's not like Tony Stark is Dr. Doom. It's like, it's Victor Von Doom. Dr. Doom, played by Robert Downey Jr. I mean, they gotta address it somehow, right? They can't... Unless he's wearing the mask the entire time, which they're not gonna do. You know, he's gonna take off the mask. Uh... They gotta address that this guy is, that Doctor Doom is Tony Stark. They're gonna address that somehow, just multiverse, whatever, right? You know, Tony Stark changed his name to Victor Von Doom for whatever reason. But it just reeks of desperation. It really does. Like, you know, at least they know that things aren't good, and they're desperately trying. And they're desperately trying to cling, to cling on to whatever they can by. You know, bringing back these old people who don't want to keep doing this. You know, Hugh Jackman was done. You know, I, he definitely had no problem coming back for Deadpool and Wolverine. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see Hugh Jackman in a couple more movies for Marvel. But he 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 was kind of done. You know, Robert Downey Jr. was kind of done. Chris Evans was kind of done. Uh, I think even Chris Hemsworth was talking about, you know, maybe stepping back a little bit, because he had the whole, I don't remember the specifics of it or something, but, like, they, they, he was doing, like, a documentary, and he found out he's susceptible for dementia or something like that, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but he talked about being done. Uh, a lot of the Guardians, you know, I see a lot of the Guardians cast being done, moving on to DC with James Gunn, because he's, he's, he's probably pretty much done as well, you know, Dave Bautista's done, uh, Chris Pat, Chris Pratt will probably stick around. You know, he's he's good for a Secret Wars cameo or whatever. But they're not gonna do get, they're not gonna get like a feature film with him. So what they need is new people. 
new people who were interested in and invested in that's gonna you know hold us for the next 10 years and they just they just simply haven't found that uh, I mean honestly the closest they've gotten I mean and their best bet which I wouldn't be surprised if they did do this which I guess spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine is they should really just keep Daphne Keene as X-23 make her the new Wolverine like that's that's what they should do uh, and I mean I heck I wouldn't be surprised if they I wouldn't be surprised if we got another Blade movie with Wesley Snipes like I, I can somehow see that happening. Uh, I mean, that movie's having such problems anyway. So, I mean, you should just scrap that whole thing and start over with him. But, uh, yeah, this has been long enough. Uh, and that has been your daily Half-Life 3 update for July 27th, 2024.